So now let's understand the file explorer. So the file explorer can be accessed through the taskbar right over here and you can click on this icon and the file explorer comes in. You can also uh, click um, open the file explorer by going on to the start menu right here and by clicking on this icon right over here which says file explorer. But in your case, um, the file explorer may not be available. So I'm just going to right click and delete this out. So I'm just going to unpin this from the taskbar right now. And let's say in your case, it is somewhat similar to this. You cannot see the file explorer and you cannot see it over here as well. So in that case, what you can do is you can simply go to the type field right over here and I, I can say file explorer and the file explorer actually pops up. So you can actually go over here and click it and the file explorer pops up. So once you do that, you can see that this actually appears over here and you can right click on it and you can pin it to the taskbar just like this. And there you go, the file explorer is here. So I'm just going to rearrange it out right besides Microsoft S browser right over here. So what if your file browser is not over here? So if it is not over here, you can go to the settings right over here and then you can go to personalization options. And in personalization, you can go to uh, the start menu right over here. So on the start menu, you can see uh, choose which folders appear on the start, click on it and make sure the file explorer is turned on and you'll get this right over here. So now let us go on to the file explorer. So if I were to open up the file explorer, you can see that there's a ribbon over here on the top and on the left, there are uh, a bunch of folders that you can access. If you go to quick access, you'll be able to access the recent files that you actually um, opened up or you saved it to the recent file. Here are my Creative Cloud files right over here from the Adobe Creative Suite. That's my OneDrive and everything else. Let's go to this PC. So if I were to click on this PC, you'll be able to see all of the uh, major drives that are there on your uh, computer. So in my case, there are a lot of drives as you can see. So there's the C drive, B drive, A drive, and you can see that all of them are arranged according to the letters right over here. So you can see that according to the icon, the type of the drive is distinct. In my case, you can see A is the floppy disk drive. So you might not have this uh, in your computers. And over here, you can see that there's these are hard disk drives right over here. This one right over here is a removable disk drive, a DVD drive in my case, and it's a DVD rewritable drive right over here. That's my tutor tube uh, drive right over here. And if I were to click on this, you can see that this is drive key and you'll be able to see all of the files are accumulated right over here. So let us go back onto this PC right there. So you can see that all of the disk drives are there. And all of this you can see are accumulated by uh, this triangle shape right here. If you were to click on this, you can see that you can expand those out just like this. You can go to tutor tube on the left side, you can expand that out and you'll be able to see uh, the, uh, the details right over there as well. You can also go over here inside of Tutor Tube and you can see that this is followed with an address. So uh, this is accessing this PC on K drive that is named as Tutor Tube and there are a bunch of folders. And if I were to go into sound effects, you can see that there's a bit of sound effect right there, which is another folder. And if you were to click over here, you can see that this is the file structure right here. So it's K drive sound effects folder. You can also have multiple folders inside. So let's say inside of Tutor Tube itself, uh, let's say I'm going to go into new recorded videos. There's a folder inside. So it's in K drive, new recorded videos, double click, that's Tutor Tube videos. And then again, there's uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So you can see that there's multiple subfolders right over here. So now I'm accessing my file from my K drive new recorded videos, Tutor Tube, Adobe Premiere Pro preview files. And there's still more folders going on right over here. And this is common. You can have folders inside of folders, inside of folders, and you can work around with them. So here on the top side, you can see that there's the back button right over here and the top button. Uh, what the top button does, that is up button does, is it goes uh, on the parent folder. So you can go on the parent folder, you can press up, you can press up, it goes back and it can, you can go back right over here. So normally these things might seem to do the same thing, but if you had to go over here, so let's say I want to access this folder right over here, just like this. And you suddenly, you can even type it in. So you want to go directly onto this folder that is new recorded videos. I can simply go over here, press backspace, 
and press enter just like this so it goes to this now if you were to press the back button it goes back on to the previous folder that we had access and if you were to click on the forward button it goes back to this folder right over here but if you click the up button it goes directly to the parent folder in my case it went directly to this pc as you can see now if i were, were to click back you can see that it goes back to the previous folders so you can really navigate around just like this so that is how you can uh briefly work around with the file explorer inside of microsoft windows 10 and later on we are going to see uh more ways to actually manage files so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe